morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Tuesday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm to today is Psalm 28. O Lord, I call to you, my rock, do not be deaf to my cry, lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the, uh, with the wicked or with the evil doers who speak peaceably with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understandings of the Lord's doing nor the works of his hands. Therefore, he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he, is the, he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I have been helped. Therefore, my heart dances for joy and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is my strength of his people a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Let us pray. Strong shepherd of your people, when your son stretched out his hand on the cross, you heard him and he did not become like those who go down into the pit. By his resurrection, and, and he, by his resurrection strengthen your people to offer you thanks for the mighty works that you have done and make our hearts dance for joy. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our first reading continues in Joshua in the 8th chapter, beginning with verse 1. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear or be dismayed. Take all the fighting men with you and arise and go up to Ai. See, I have given you into your hand the king of Ai and his people and his city and his land, and you shall do, the, do to Ai and its king as you did to Jericho and its king only its spoil and its cattle, you shall take as a booty for yourselves. Lay an ambush against the city behind it. So Joshua rose and all the fighting men to go up to Ai, and jo uh, Joshua chose 30,000 mighty men of valor and sent them forth by night. And he commanded them, Behold, you shall lie in ambush against the city. Behind it do not go very far from the city, but, uh, but hold yourselves all in readiness. And I and all the people who are with me will approach the city. And when they come out against us as before, we shall flee before them. And they will come after us till we have drawn them away from the city. For they will say they are fleeing from us as before. So we will flee from them. Then you shall rise up from an ambush and seize the city. For the Lord your God will give it to you into your hands. And when you have taken the city, you shall set the city on fire, doing as the Lord has bidden. See, I have commanded you. So Joshua sent, uh, sent them forth, and they went to the place of ambush and lay between Bethel and Ai to the west of Ai. But Joshua sent the, uh, spent the night among the people. And Joshua rose early in the morning and mustered the people and went up with the elders of Israel before the people of Ai. And all the fighting men were, uh, who were with him went up and drew near before the city and encamped on the north side of Ai with a ravine between them and I, and he took about 5,000 men and set them in ambush between Bethel and I to the west of the city. So they stationed the forces, the main encampment, which was north of the city in its rear guard west of the city. But Joshua spent the night in the valley. And when the king of I saw that he and all his people and the men of the city made haste and went out early to the, de to the descent, uh, 
to the descent toward the Arabah to meet Israel in battle. But he did not know that there was an ambush against him behind the city. And Joshua and all Israel made a pretense of being beaten before them and fled in the direction of the wilderness. So all the people who were in the city were called together to pursue them. And as they pursued Joshua, they were drawn away from the city. There was not a man left in Ai or Bethel who did not go out after Israel. They left the city open and pursued Israel. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Stretch out your javelin that is in your hand toward Ai, for I will give it into your hand. And Joshua stretched out the javelin that was in his hand toward the city. And the ambush rose quickly out of their place. And as soon as he had stretched out his hand, they ran and entered the city and took it. And they made haste to set the city on fire. So when the men of Ai looked back, behold, the smoke of the city went up to heaven. And they had no power to flee this way or that. For the people that fled to the wilderness turned back upon the pursuers. And when Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had taken the city and that the smoke of the city went up, then they turned back and smote the men of Ai, and the others came forth from the city against them, so that they were in the midst of Israel, some on this side and some on that side, and Israel smote them, until there was left none that survived or escaped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from Romans, the 14th chapter. As for the man who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not for disputes over opinions. One believers, one believes he may eat anything while the weak man eats only vegetables. Let not him who eats despise him who abstains, and let not him who abstains pass judgment on him who eats, for God has welcomed him. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant or of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls, and he will be upheld for the master is able to make him stand. One man esteems one day as better than another, while another man esteems all days alike. Let everyone be fully convinced in his own mind. He who observes the day observes it in honor of the Lord. He also who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God, while he who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord and gives thanks to God. None of us lives to himself and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, God, God died and, and lived again, that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brothers? Or you, uh, or you who do, or, or you, why do you despise your brothers? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So each of us shall give account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And the Holy Gospel today comes from St. Matthew, the 26th chapter. Glory to you, oh. O Lord. Mm -hmm. While he was still speaking, Judas came out of, the, uh, out of the twelve, and with him a great crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I shall kiss is the man. Seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Hail, Master. And he kissed him. And Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here? Then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the slave on the, of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will, pun, uh, will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will once send me more than 12 legions of angels? But, no, but, bow, uh, but how then should the scriptures be fulfilled that it might be so? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise Thank to you, you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. 
He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask in our ignorance, is, ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness, and mercifully give us those things which for our unworthiness we dare not, and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy Lord. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday morning. I, I hope you have a safe and blessed day. God bless you, and I hope to see you tomorrow as well. Bye-bye. Mm,